Hey guys, out here at White Oak Mountain again. About to ride a Cottontail, Mid Ridge, come down Dogwood. I think it's only like three and a half miles. Um, this trail actually I think is a hiking trail. Actually I think it's part of Southern Mission. Um, this is probably the fastest way up to Cottontail. I actually park at the main trailhead by the university and then I take University Drive up to Forest Drive and that kind of bypasses a lot of the trail. And it's pretty much just a straight climb here from the hiking trail into Southern Mission. Um, but it's a quick way to kind of get to the trail, especially the trailhead of Cottontail. I love sessioning this trail, or at least riding this trail. So we're going to start here, follow it up to Midridge, Midridge across, and then followed by Dogwood. So I'm excited. And uh, also, I'm running the new um, Vittoria Airliners in my rear tire. Excited about it. Got it in the other day. The video should already be up. Um, you'll see a link for it at the end of this video. You can check it out. Um, however, since putting it in, my tire has not been holding air pressure, uh, which is kind of weird. Um, I was running tubeless before. It's obviously still tubeless. There's no room for a tube. Um, I cleaned the bead on the tire. I cleaned the rim. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to kind of troubleshoot that. going to check the pressure of the, the tire kind of throughout the ride and just kind of make sure everything's good. But uh, with the new airliner, it shows that you can actually run flat on it. Um, I obviously don't promote that, but they just show the capabilities of it and it's been tested for it, but not that we're going to even try to get that far. But if the tire pressure runs low, um, that's kind of what it's there for. So it allows lower air pressure, better grip on the, on the trail, uh, cause it's still, the tire still pliable, but also it gives uh, good tire protection, uh, sidewall protection as you come around turns and, uh, protecting that sidewall to prevent the tire roll too. So excited to try it out and, uh, kind of let you guys know how it goes uh, throughout the ride. Ah, jeez. Coming through! Ah, that's fun. Contail's always a blast. Got a little bit of a climb here. I think this section is actually part of Forest Trail. It's not long, maybe a quarter of a mile up to Midridge. All right, this is Midridge. That's what's awesome here. So this is Strava running from my Apple Watch. I don't know if you guys can see it. It auto pauses when I stop. Um, 
But when it breaks it down in segments, it doesn't pause. So when I look at my segment time, it'll still show like 30 minutes, but my total riding time will be 20 minutes, for instance. Just showing as an example. But I like it because it helps me know my heart rate, which also knows, you know, kind of lets me know where I can push it more. Or if I'm getting closer to the 180, 185, I know I need to kind of slow it down, cut it back. I need to know just not to keep it at that much. Um, my max heart rate's like uh, just over 200. Um, at least when I actually had it, my VO2 max tested. It was a couple years ago. Uh, can't remember my VO2 max, but my max heart rate was, um, I think it was still at like 210 is what we were able to get it to. I held it there for, felt like hours, but um, I think it was like 30 seconds to a minute before he shut the test off just to make sure that that was my max. Pretty cool test. I mean, it's all dependent on how hard you can push yourself. Definitely need to have a strong mind for that. That test, if you guys don't know about it, ugh, stupid spider webs. Wow, driving me crazy, I'm sorry. Um, the test, they basically hook up a mask to your face that you have to breathe through your mouth and they plug your nose. They put you on a treadmill at a speed and then every like 30 seconds, they increase the speed and increase the incline until you basically can't go anymore. <laughs> And you're hooked up to a heart rate monitor. They get your blood pressure pretty regularly too. But cool test. Oh, that was weird. I didn't realize there were so many turns and cutoffs here. Camera here. There we go. That was fun. I think the camera's good. Just dry dirt sliding off the trail. Thank goodness for these knee pads. It's funny when you ride like flow trails and jump trails and jump lines, I guess. And, uh, oh. And you're good on those, but once you uh, just come out here to a regular trail, that's where you crash. <laughs> Nice. It's a nice berm. Here's the parking. A lot where we started, I took the road out, took University Drive up out here to Forest. So I came out right here to Forest Drive, took this line straight up. This gray line all the way up here to Cottontail Road, Cottontail, loops around, came up for us up to Midridge, and we took Midridge all the way across to here. And then from here, we're gonna take Krebs Cycle down, which is gonna roll into Dogwood, um, coming straight across, straight down. So that's the plan. Praise Dogwood, rolling green. 
no bikes. Just kidding, not taking dogwood. So hiking trail only, I guess. So I'm just gonna take back this flowy green trail. That's the exit of Krep Cycle. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> clipped the tree with my handlebar. <laughs> Trying to cut that corner tight. Nice little hip. Uh, that was fun. Thanks for riding with me, guys. You guys are awesome. All you subscribers, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing to the channel and following along. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And to watch for more, next video, I think I should be in Michigan. So, thank you guys.